Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. And today we have a look why your application might suffer of reactivity loss, how to avoid that and how to fix that for graphs, props and dust also reactors. Here we go. Reactivity is a core principle when it comes to Vue.js and it's baked in, right? It's a very nice model and with the composition API, we even have the choice of making things not reactive at all, use ref or reactive, but you already know that, right? But I see, especially when juggling with certain composables and combining them, people suffer of reactivity loss in their applications, meaning that for some reason, some things will simply not update anymore. So in our demo application, we have a look why that happens, what the typical mistake is and how to fix it. As usual, we don't have much going on. And even though I'm using Nuxt in here, the same thing applies to a Vue.js application. It's very important to know that you might have to add some imports here because I use Nuxt auto imports, but the rest will stay the same. And the first thing we will have a look at are refs, because that's the most common scenario when it comes to reactivity. It's even written in the docs that ref is preferred. So let's add a new ref, say title. Const title is ref my app title. And what we want to do is we want to show this as the tab title, right? So let's simply do that and use our uh, use SEO meta composable. You can also use use head or view users use title composable. That's not a problem and will work all together. So in here, we provide the whole thing and say title, uh, title, the value, because we want to set the value of it, right? And now in our template, we add a new input, hook up a V model to title and make sure that we can change the whole thing. So now this should work, right? Let's have a look in the browser and see what we get. In the browser, we see great. It works my app title and my app title up here. Perfect. But now when we change stuff, it doesn't update here. Why? Why not? Well, the reason is simple. We check it out in the code and then we'll fix it. The problem here is that we don't pass the reactive reference. Actually, we just pass the value. That would be the same here as if you would just pass my app title or whatever the title's value is at the time when we call that. So even if you say title.value is another title and pass the value down here, then the title for our app on top will simply say another title. And when we update the ref, that won't be taken into account anymore because we just pass the string here. We see this very clearly with TypeScript help. Luckily, most composables, especially when you use view use or the Nux build composables, they accept lots of various ways to provide values. One would be just a plain value because we could just simply say, this is my app and that should be possible, right? But if you want to have something reactive, then of course we can also pass the ref straight away. So we would say title, title, or to make it short, simply title because the names are the same. And if we now check out the browser, we will see that everything works as it should. Here we have another title because we changed it before. And if we edit it, perfect, we're good. Nice. Okay, that doesn't seem too tricky, but especially when we say, okay, we fetch some things from an API and then we pass that along. We are sometimes tempted to use this dot value at the end, but very often we might need the actual reactive reference, the actual ref to pass forward to other composables, to something like use SEO meta or use title and so on and so on. So this is one key point. And now what is if we have, let's say a component, right? With some props, maybe have a look at that and see how this will go. I've prepared a little app title component here and that's fully empty right now. So why not move this logic, setting the title for use SEO meta in here, right? We can even render the title down here that we don't have yet. And let's say we get the title through, of course, props because props are used to pass information down to the components, right? So let's say const props is define props. You can uh, define props either in the old fashioned quote unquote in runtime way, or you could even say um, we pass that along through TypeScript and say, okay, you know what? So we do title string here. Here can even be more explicit and uh, that works too. Both are fine. I prefer the TypeScript version actually, but that's up to whoever wants to use it. So far, so good. But now we start here with, ah, okay, uh, we have this props part here and we want the title. So one thing you could you can consider is destructuring that, right? So just do title. 
And that looks fine. We have a title, it's a string, all good. Let's save this and implement app title here. As said before, we have an auto import and then we just pass in the title as the property. So let's hit the browser, see what happens. All right, nice. We have everything rendered here. Another title is written as before. And when we change stuff, oh, interesting. So on the one hand, this here actually changes, but the title on top doesn't. So mission not really accomplished here. Once again, let's check out why that happens. So the first thing is we really shouldn't destruct our props because that might kill reactivity. So let's not do that. Let's keep it with props. And the problem here is that we would technically say title is props.title, right? This is more or less what we had before. Let's see if this already fixes it. And surprise, it doesn't. Even if we reload the site, change it, nope, the tab title doesn't change a bit. And why is that? Well, because props are reactive by default, right? So when we use the prop here in props or in props.title, this is a reactive property that comes out here. So this handles a bit different than ref. So there are a couple of ways of doing that. And you might know that from, for example, watchers or from dealing with reactive in general. There are two ways that make a lot of sense here. The first one is you could convert a prop into a ref. And the second one is a reactive getter function. Let's have a look at both options. Let's try converting the title to a ref straight away. So you can say const title is ref props.title, right? And then down here, we have the code that we had before that worked. So far, so good. Let's save this and see what happens in the browser. If we change things now, huh, even less works. Why, why is that happening? And the reason is just because we call ref in the code here, it doesn't mean that this ref actually updates when the props update. This is not the case at all. We could also just write ref in some constant here and it would work the same. So this will only fill the ref here with the current value, but will not update. Luckily, we have the to ref function by view that makes it a little bit easier, but this is still not enough. We have to use a function here. And I will explain why we need this exactly to make it work. We also see this in the type documentation saying, oh yeah, here, we need to do this with props. Let's see how this actually works in the browser. And here we are back again. And now when we change stuff, ah, oh, marvelous. Things work as expected. The tab title is changing, the rendering works and the input. Amazing. So what is actually happening here in the background? Well, we use a so-called reactive getter function inside the to ref. So we basically say, hey, convert a value into to ref, but because it's reactive, we have to use the getter function because otherwise it will just be treated as a constant. And this is a common pattern when you use reactive. We will see this when we will not use to ref now, but just pass the reactive getter function straight away to use SEO meta. Because most composables, especially these of Nuxt or view use, they have the option to either get a ref, a clean value, or in case of reactive, you want to have a getter function, so that works. Let's check it out. And we do as we say. So let's get that reactive getter here and put that straight away down into the title, right? There's no TypeScript error. And once again, we'll have a look in the browser and see what's happening now. And everything works before. Awesome, great. So maybe this pattern is familiar to you because if you would use a watcher, for example, some props, you could also say watch and then have the same reactive getter, for example, with props.title uh, and do, do something with the title here. This is the same approach that you might use already when you use reactive with some view primitives like watch. And that's the whole idea. So let's summarize quickly. First of all, when you use a ref, it's very important to share the reactive reference. So the actual variable, not the dot value part, unless you, I don't know, want to render the clean value or you reuse that in, for example, computed. Then it's of course fine because the computed is then based on the value. Especially when combining composables, juggling with various reactive references, it's important to keep in mind. And there's a big difference of passing the reactive reference or the value. That's why it's called dot value as well. And when you use props or when you use reactive, then you always have to use the getter function or use to ref to convert it into a ref. These are options to avoid using reactivity. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions left or something is unclear as usual, please write a comment down below. I'm very happy to go through all of them. 
And next time we might have a look into two Nuxt data fetching composables where this knowledge is also very important. But no matter if you use Nuxt or plain view, it is very, very much necessary to not lose reactivity unless you want it and use the plain value. Until then, see you soon and happy hacking.